What's up everybody? It's your boy T. Riley here and today I got for y'all some Pez finds that of mine uh, that I picked up. I think a few again might have came in the mail but most of them I got out of either uh, Hot Topic or GameStop. They're all Funko Pez. Yeah, well they're all Funko Pez of course. But anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll jump on into it. Um, the first one I got for y'all is Captain Crunch. The, ma the cereal that everybody says cuts the roof of your mouth. Let, let y'all take a look at it. Right there. Right there. I actually have a pop coming of him. <laughs> it's taking forever. And brick and mortar uh, stores, it just takes forever for some of them. You're going to have to them because I don't like this whole waiting. Yeah. Crap. Well, sometimes it's, you got to, you know, go, you got to do what you got to do and, and hope for the... Captain Crunch came out, was introduced in 1963. Um, and then of course he's the the mascot, the cartoonish mascot for Captain for uh, the Captain Crunch cereal. Uh, in nineteen, I mean in two thousand thirteen, like a uh, a New York Times, I think it was article came out and was talking about making a joke about how he was born on a, a some kind of. Captain, or uh, born on Crunch Island, I think it was, with milk, a milk sea. Uh, it was like a, supposed to be like a, a land of talking trees and, and weird animals and stuff, or weird creatures, and, and a, what was it, Mount Crunchmore, or a mountain made of Captain Crunch cereal and everything, and uh, he was like, his boat's called the Guppy that he captains. And next, we'll go ahead with Secret Squirrel. He was which one of my favorite cartoons. It came out in like the 60s. Can't remember exactly what when in the 60s. I want to say like 65, I think. I can't remember. But anyway. Yeah, I so also need to get a Morocco Mole. That was his like a little sidekick. It was like a, it's a Hanna Barber cartoon. He was known as like you know like kind of the 007, if you want to say of the rodents. Uh, he always went on these like missions. He was like a, a secret squirrel. He was secret, <laughs> secret agent man. But anyway, that was him right there. I loved that cartoon. He. Like, uh, it was like a 30 minute thing. For, I guess, the, I think it was like the first 15 minutes was Adam Ant, and the last 15 minutes was Secret Squirrel. And I think later on he ended up getting his own segment, his own cartoon of himself. If I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty sure, but that's him right there. Secret Squirrel, Hanna Barbara. I love Hanna. I love how Hanna Barbara did their cartoons. They were real, uh, them two guys were real creative, I'd say, because the next ones we got right here from Hanna-Barbera is Huckleberry Hound and uh, Yogi the Bear. And the reason why I got want to show y'all both at the same time, Yogi the Bear and Huckleberry Hound, was because they both, these were 65, and they both uh, premiered on a thing called, like, um, it was a show where... One, one part with three cartoons, one part was Huckleberry Hound, and then it was Yogi the Bear with Boo Boo, and that's his sidekick, Boo Boo. Hey, yo, Boo Boo, let's steal some picking it baskets. I don't know, Yogi. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the ranger's not gonna like that very much, Yogi. But anyway, uh, them two, and then it was uh, Mr. Jinx. The Cat and uh, Pixie and Dixie the Mice. And those were the three cartoons that premiered on this show. It's like a little sh con like a cartoon corner hour, you know what I'm saying? I can't remember the name of the show. But anyway, those were the three cartoons within that show. And um, Yogi the Bear got so popular that in 1961, he got his own... TV show. 
So I loved Yogi the Bear. That's one of my favorites. I loved Huckleberry Hound too. Even though they were 60s shows, they went way, way on in the like 60s, 90s. I mean, you even see them. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen them on TV anytime like in the, you know, 2018, 19 or anything like that. I haven't really seen them. I'm sure you could probably still see them probably like on Boomerang and stuff like that. Say, I wonder if they show them on Boomerang. Yeah, Boomerang might show them still, but I don't have Boomerang, of, which sucks. Yeah, we do. Oh, Boomerang. we do? We, we oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Amazon got... Yeah, we, we, well, we never watch it. I don't know why. We need to. Because I never really have any time, really, so... Oh, and I thought I'd correct you. Uh, Barbara. You've been saying Barbara. And then I oh yeah, Barbara. That's right. Barbera. I don't know why I said that, but yeah, Hanna Barbera. It's actually two guys, but they just put it all in like one little name. So yeah, thanks, baby cakers. I don't know why I said that. I thought I said Barbara, but I guess I didn't. So thanks, baby cakers. You're welcome. Hey, boo boo. Let's steal some picking in baskets. I don't know, Yogi. Anyway, that's them too. I'm going to lay them down so I don't knock them over off the table here. Loved Boo Boo. That was one of my favorites. Next is good old Stan Lee. This was the last one they had. And I think it was in Hot Topic, right? Mm hmm Yeah, it was in Hot Topic. The last one they had. And I was like, yeah, I got to I gotta have, I gotta have it. Because I don't have any pops of him. Or anything like of him, but everyone knows Stanley was the creator of Marvel Comics. They started creating around the 60s, and he just went on that there. I remember he uh, even quoted something about he he loved having his hand in like Disney because he said Disney's what like helped him create, like gave him passion to create. And so, you know, without Disney, we wouldn't have Stan Lee because Stan Lee, anytime he could do something with Disney, like play a, a character or voice on a character of a character or something, he always loved doing it because, you know, that was a staple of his childhood. And he even said that, you know, pretty much saying if it wasn't for Disney, you know, he, you know, he don't know if, you know what I'm saying, and, we, I don't know if we would have Stan Lee. So, you know, rest in peace, Stan Lee. You're one of the greatest. And right there. Take a look at him. Size. Right. Old Stan Lee. That's a good one right there. Next. More up to date is... Bow. Good old Tim Burton film, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I love this film. I love Tim Burton. I don't think there's any bad Tim Burton films I could think of. I liked every one of his movies, his cartoons, movies. Everything he's done is awesome. He's got like one of them kind of, I guess you say, warped kind of minds, but he always uses it to make some great films. And of course, we all know Jack Skeleton um, stumbled upon uh, Christmas Town and liked it because I guess he had, well, you know, he was kind of getting tired of being known as the Pumpkin King and he wanted to do something different, so his idea was to go kidnap Santa Claus so he could he become Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, it didn't work out for him. He eventually ended up, Fortunate. you know, yeah, finding out that he's happy where he's at, and he's he should be content at where he's at. So with Sally, yeah, with Sally, <laughs> so, old Sally. I mean, you get Sally, yeah. and then of course Oogie Boogie. He was the bad guy. Had the had the stitches, and then when he broke broke open the stitches, bugs and stuff came crawling out, and he wanted to kidnap Santa Claus too, but he was trying to like murder the guy and everything. So of course, you know, oogie boogie. So <laughs> then I wanted the awesome bad guys. This is glow in the dark too. 
Yo, we can set him up and then it'll all glow in the dark. Ooh, we can see Oogie Boogie. I wonder why Jack Skeleton don't glow in the dark. Anyway, of course, you know what, guys, that's it. If y'all liked it, give a thumbs up. You know, subscribe, subscribe to your boy, and ring my bell. Ring my bell. And then, of course, leave some comments down in the comment box. Let me know something like, I don't know, you can talk about anything, uh, whatever. Yeah, ask questions, whatever. And then, uh, as always, you know, share, because sharing is caring. You gotta share, you know, get me out there, guys, you know, so I can, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, I want everybody to know who this guy is. And then, of course, I love you guys. You know what's coming. You know it always comes. Go on, get!